Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, we're going to explore. I'm hanging out, by the way. I'm, I'm at uh, Atlanta State Park on Lake Wright Patman. Been down this way out here in the East Texas Piney Woods for several days. And I've been by this sign quite a few times and I didn't know anything about it. Turns out at the end of this trail, there's a sign that talks about this. We're going to give it a go. We're going to see if we can get Little Red down the Bobo Ferry Trail. Now this... Tree roots are, are not our friends. But, hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Hold on. Had a hitchhiker. Maybe, maybe not. Once we get some momentum going, we should be all right. Hold on, we gotta get up to the top of this little hill. Now, it appears that this is mostly downhill. So hopefully we won't have to do that crazy kind of stuff anymore. This trail is actually one of the earliest roads through East Texas. When I say earliest, I'm, I'm talking 1800s, early, long time ago. If you wanted to get across the Sulphur River, especially when it was flooded, you didn't have a whole lot of options. There was a fella that set up a ferry. His last name was Bobo. And this road led down to his ferry crossing and he charged a pretty penny for his ferry services big tree root this this is why you don't see me do too many east texas trail rides but I, I just relished the thought of taking my little red scooter down a trail, uh oh, or down a trail that has been in existence for a couple hundred years. There we go. And we're, we're paralleling the road. So it's not like I have to worry about getting real lost or stranded. Uh-oh, that's a big old grapevine. Man, I won't do this again. needs to come out here and clean up the trail. <laughs> they haven't been down this trail in a while.
certainly hate to disturb. And because of the rocks, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk it through. It's not, this trail is not nearly as uh, pleasant as I thought it was going to be. Like we're gonna be climbing up some hills here. At least the pioneers with wagons had horses to pull them. And their ground clearance was higher. Of course, then, then there were probably, I know there were ooh, early pioneers. Dang, I'm bottomed out. Rocks and roots. Hold on. You ever had one of those moments where you realize this was not a good idea? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm having one of those moments right now. But well, I'm committed. We are going all the way through. Yeah, but it, <laughs> that was that was rough. <laughs> okay. I ought to just cut out right here, but I'm not. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stubborn. I'm gonna do this trail. Uh oh, you 
Whew. So what's amazing is this cut. And, and this is why I, I was determined to, to do this trail. This cut is from people walking. This is kind of like the um, Natchez Trace. There's parts of that where you're walking, you're below grade. There's so many people have walked through there for centuries, thousands, possibly even thousands of years. right there that little knob I didn't see it that's the third time I've encountered one of those that catches the battery box and nearly pitched me over the front whoo we're done we're done get me out of here So this is the sign that talks about the ferry and an outlaw. Fascinating stuff. If you'll go back in time and watch the experiential video that I did for Atlanta State Park, I talk about this. All right, if this is your first visit to Do Derby and you're rough and tumble <laughs> to stick with me at this point. If you've been following along, thank you. That's why I'm out here doing stupid stuff on my scooter and for my patrons. I'm most grateful. You rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?